Calvin Jones here. We are now indoors. We're going to repeat our experiment on uh, bending and rebending, forming and then uh, deforming aluminum. Specifically, we're looking at the derailleur hanger. Uh, we're going to use the DAG2 derailleur alignment gauge uh, 2 to purposely bend and then rebend and bend and rebend. Uh, at more moderate temperatures here, uh, here inside, and see if there's truly a difference uh, that, that we can notice uh, uh, between the, the changes in properties of aluminum uh, from the, the cold below uh, uh, zero Fahrenheit weather we, uh, we had in January, and the indoor temperature we are, are enjoying today. The temperatures that we're seeing are approximately 69 degrees. We are checking with a, a surface uh, thermometer, so approximately a, a, a 70 degree spread between the uh, Fahrenheit, between the coldest, and uh, we've seen this hanger, and then the, the warmest. Uh, these are all the same brand of hangers, so let's, let's repeat uh, the uh, protocol of bending and rebending, and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. We're going to use as our benchmark for uh, how much deformity, uh, about two inches here, simply the width of this, uh, this uh, tape measure here. Uh, we're going to use it as a go, no-go gauge. Pull this out, bend it back, pull it out, bend it back. So now let's proceed with the first, the first bending here and try and get uh, some deformity here. Not quite. That's one. So we have crashed once. Let's bring it back to a good position. We're not going to change our gauge. We're going to maintain the same position. Get it back close to start over. Very good. Once. Twice. Here comes the third bend. And a little more. Third bend. That's quite a, quite a severe crash. Three. Back makes it four. Let's proceed with the fifth one. This is the fifth bend. Five. And a little bit more. There we go. Repair this is six. That looks pretty good. Now we come to Seven, seven. So failure on the seventh. We did uh, one, two, three, four, five, six successfully. The seventh was a failure. Uh, if we review the cold, uh, the, uh, the frigid uh, video of this, I think uh, close to the same. Uh, I would conclude. No significant difference in the temperature ranges that we're likely to be, uh, to be working in. So approximately a 70 degree Fahrenheit spread. Uh, no real appreciable differences in, uh, in hangar weakness or strength.